son of, of Jesus Christ and God well let me just rephrase that if you claim to be a brother of Christ yeah. a son of God come on and you commit atrocities come or on. you or you commit consistently yes sir sin nature then it is up to us mm -hmm. to question this person yes, sir. and this person relationship it is our responsibility and that is what the bible is talking about so how how we do this you know how, how do we do it in love Plant i guess seed, the, the, the situation earth. will will bring about uh the answer mm -hmm. but until we start doing that i don't think that there's going to be a change no you know, I, uh, I agree. Uh, I agree. And, and, and to actually to to expose somebody in that manner, well, you say you're a Christian and yet you committing this atrocity. Come on, brother. You know, uh, I have to question your relationship with God. Come on, brother. Now you talking? See, that's my point. Yeah. In other words, they, they're moving into the, I like what you said last week. I like what you said last week, the fruit of death. I know Jimmy didn't like the word fruit of death. You said fruit of, what you said? Fruit of what? Of sin. I, I think I said You said fruit of sin. sin but the fruit of death. I don't hit that word of fruit of death. Yeah. They, 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 they operate with that fruit. They bear that type of fruit. That's not what Christ is going to let you stay in his vine. Yeah. Because Christ is the fruit of life. Yes. You know? Amen. And you're right. The confrontation is, brother, if you don't need that job, you're going to operate. I can't, we're not going to give, you know how people bring people on the stage and walk, you know, celebrate their success or, or victory. This is something we can't do. We can't endorse that behavior. You know, yeah, but it, but us us not us not challenging it is no, no. is is no different than anybody else committing an atrocity, being right. complicit and acceptable. Yeah, of that. Yeah. So that's that's another area that we 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 need to examine. We you do. Know, I, I think we our, should. Our, our our silence is complicit in <laughs> that that nature. Yeah, because one of the things is back in the article again, as long as they see us as a group that commits the gangbanger and, and, and the being a criminal, uh, as long as they see that or the potential is that the propensity for violence uh, opposed to for love, uh, it's, it's something that they need to they need to renew their mind on and say individual. When, when I read this book, it was interesting. It was talking about in the colonies uh, when a, a white man commit atrocity, there's something wrong with him. Not, not you know, as an individual, there's an issue with him. What they were saying is when a black man uh, or a black woman do something they yeah. want to put it on them yes and as long as they as long as the police officer needs to keep thinking them as long as the congregation keep thinking them in a negative as the evildoer that's what that scripture we read a couple of weeks ago right don't be called an evildoer but be, be calling somebody doing the right thing in christ then that's what the mindset got to get out of their head we are not evil doers as a group of people yeah. we have evil doers in our midst just like they have evil doers in their midst yeah. 
But I'm not calling all white people skinheads. I'm not calling all white people rapists or killers or murderers. And I'm not even calling all police officers that. But there's in the midst of them, and they have responsibility, right, brother? Asher? Because they have responsibility. Say, brother, you, you, that ain't right, man. That's not right. You, what you did is not right. You're not going to get a the, medal for this. They're, 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 they're complicity. Yeah. It's complicity. Their complicity makes makes it the majority. Exactly. When the so-called blue line becomes the the standard of vision. Yes. Then their complicity makes them the majority yeah. of uh, illegal actions and criminal actions by those who should be protecting and serving from criminals. Right. So they are, they put themselves in the class as criminals. It's exactly. Because like that one with George Floyd, that cop, remember the one that was standing up by the, by the car? Mm -hmm. He was keeping people away. Yeah. Knowing that this man was being killed behind him. That's complic being complicit. Yes, yes it is. Now, Yes, it is. Uh, even if that person is your superior, wrong is wrong. Wrong is wrong. Wrong is wrong. You know, it, it, I would just have to be in trouble. Yeah. If, if I was there, you yeah. know, and I'm like, look, you you can't kill this person. You got to get up. We're gonna stop this right here. This this, this is not right. You know, you you, you, know? you, you and who would want to be a part of that? I know it. You know, yeah. why why would you want to be a part of that if if you step in to, to save a life that uh, has no, I mean, if a person is being jury, judge, and sentencer all at once, and it's not his job, which yes. is what that officer did, then you as a person to protect and serve needs to protect and serve. Mm -hmm. Now, if you protect and serve that individual's life, Though he is uh, being detained and, and, and arrested, it's their responsibility to protect that life. Exactly. And if you protect that life and be penalized for it, then mm. you don't need to be a part of that. That's yeah. not something you need to be a part of in the first place. Because yeah. if your superiors allow you to be prosecuted for doing what you are trained to do, then that means that that organization is corrupt and you don't need to exactly. be a part of it. Exactly, exactly. question, is any, any world system not corrupt? Well, that, well that's not, I don't think so. That, we agree that mankind, right? Let's, let's go back. Outside of Christ, mankind heart is desperately wicked. We, that's what the scripture says. Yeah. What we're saying is as Christians and those who claim to be Christians, those who claim to be there to protect and serve, their job is they have the heart and the mind of Christ and to say, get off of them. This, uh, Sarge, I'm gonna take the good, I like, matter of fact, I, I, I'm gonna add yeah, this, give this to kudos to uh, John Lewis. And, and I know that the white girl that took that picture in her high school, she said, it don't wonder about the, she said, yeah, yeah good trouble. I, I I I know I'm gonna get in trouble, but it's gonna be good trouble. Yeah. You know, and 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 that's I hope, man. If if if, if somebody that's is a cop listening to this, because we don't we don't ran out of battery on this one, so we're gone now. But they'll get the recording. Is is to be able to say, look, I'm gonna call a spade a spade, just like John the Baptist called a spade a spade with that tea trap. Remember the one that it was Herod, I guess the guy's name, right? Yeah. John the Baptist sit there and said, "Is called him out. Awful. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> he said, it's "Not lawful for you to be with your brother's wife." Right. And that has been, this has been our, our ability, and I thank our car from the beginning. Uh, we were afraid to speak out against the truth, and, and we still are. Yeah. We still are. I mean, we're going to speak. We, we, we as a body of Christ in the United States of America should be a conscious of America. Well, and, it's, uh, it's self-preservation, Elder. 
Yeah, we don't want to endure the, the hardship or the condemnation that comes along with righteousness. But come on, you know, it, it, it there is a cost, there is. and uh, we don't want to deal with the cost, even though we know our spirit is urging us to move in righteousness, mm. and we will turn turn away. And, and, and check out what Christ says about it. He said, if the salt has lost its savor, yes. where will it be salted? It yes. is therefore good for nothing but to be cast out and trampled on the poor men. Amen. So we're yes. seeing a lot of things happening in the church as a result of our unwillingness to comply with what He's called us to do. Mm. Is there going to be conflict? Yes. But if we don't get involved in it, we're still going to get a beat. Yeah. <laughs> get it from the world or you're going to get it from the Lord, but one way or another, you're going to experience some downside yeah. for not doing what he tells us to do. Man, Paul did the same thing. Paul told that to Peter, right? Paul said, I don't want to have to confront you face to face. In front of all these people, I'm, I'm going to have to call a spade a spade. You, yeah, you're big. you operate one way when these people ain't you, not here, but when they showed up, you went up there, you know, went back to the law. I bring the law, then you don't get these Gentiles sitting here. It ain't nothing to have to do with the law. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? It's, that's a, not, you're right. We're not doing a lot of accountability. We, we're not. How many times are we, we doing we did, not, we did not point nope. fingers back at the man that we should be accountable to. Yeah. And that's the Lord. It's not your boss. I mean, it's your boss in the sense that he's in line with that. that if he's in place, then the Lord has called him to be a part of that. But he said there's but one power and that power of God. The power that be ordained to God, he yeah. resists the power of his yeah. daughter to God, receive to the self damnation. So if he allows the God to sit over you, he is that power, he's that representative in your life. But if he goes against the will of God, you have to call him in the check or yourself in the check. Yeah. I'm not following that because the God that I serve don't condone it. Hey, how many times in our in our workplace? Check that out. But I know I know every both of y'all have been in a situation where a guy talked about committing, you know, playing around. He's married and, and he's out there sleeping with Susie Ann and he's coming and talking about that conquest in the workplace. Have, have you ever had anybody do that? Oh, yeah. What were you, brother? You hear, you hear that? No, I, I, was, I was thinking of something while you were talking, I'm, I apologize. I was talking about the fact you have seen, I'm talking about, it's not just, we're talking about the police, hold somebody accountable uh, in that. We're talking about in our workplace or in our society, we have people who would sit there and talk about their conquests, uh, committing adultery, you know, mm -hmm. uh, or any matter of fact, just saying they, they got drunk, man, got drunk last uh, And you sit there and say, well, you know, if you're a brother in Christ, you know, bro, you know, you don't go to get drunk like that. I understand you will drink a little wine and okay, but you getting drunk. I, I can't, I can't, I can't endorse you that, man. I'm just saying, you, you know, you need to be more careful, you know. Yeah, you gotta, I you think that's how I, I, I would come with the, uh, you know, you got to make sure that you don't overdo it and be taken to by this particular, you know, by alcohol. You don't exactly. want to let alcohol uh, dictate your life. Yeah, and to take your actions, you know. I, yeah, I, I advise you next time. I would, I would uh, be careful when you're in that situation. How about and, an adulterer? An you adulterer in a situation. Well, you explain the same in the same manner. You yeah. Know? yeah. How would you feel? Yeah. If the shoes were on the other foot. Yeah. I yeah. had one guy curse you know, me out. <laughs> I, I didn't know him, but I was invited to lunch with my one of my uh, Q brothers. But if we grew up together in high school, and this guy was just talking about this, this, this conquest, you know, and I said, you married, aren't you? He said, look, 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 look. you know, the, the F word came out. I was yeah. like, man, look, I'm just telling you, they, they, look, it's up to you. I don't know is that, you know, in the military, you get court-martialed for this stuff, so you need to be careful. That's all I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. you. You speak freely around me, but you need to understand I can't sit there and ride and endorse what you're saying. Yeah, definitely. You see what I'm saying? But those, those times that we don't, we're not, we're, I'm talking about even our own holding people accountable, at least in love. Yeah. You, know, you, you can't tell them not to do something, but you can say, man, that's, that's a dangerous thing, man. You're playing with that, that adultery, man. 
You know, I'm just, I'm just saying, you get, especially if the other woman is married, you get shot. Well, I mean, you always put them in that same scenario, and they, they get a, they get a real vision of what they're doing. Mm -hmm. I think that's uh, the thing that uh, we have, we have come short of in the church is that we stop everything right here. But yeah, the damnation that you're really trying to escape. Yeah, even if you escape yeah. from, from a husband, <laughs> you still yeah. got to do God. And yeah. that is the God that we least call into the scenario. Yeah. Well,